Well, for decades, only crackpots and crazy people believed in UFOs. That's what I thought anyway. Boeing, and then in recent years, it turns out... From cyberspace to outer space. Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I got a, a few people from the science community uh, contact me. I thought... Uh, very much thought it would be a different community. I mean, you have a lot of, um, uh, how you put it, uh, Cheeto eating basement dwellers, but uh, let's go back to this spot right here uh, where I was knocked down and we'll go ahead and elaborate. The morning after I was knocked down in this situation, as you can imagine, I didn't feel very well at all. I experienced a, and yeah, this is difficult for, uh, for me to talk about, but I experienced a feeling inside my mind and it was almost like a muscle or something that I could uh, tense and uh, it produced sound. Um, I really hate the way that sounds, but let's go ahead and look at the science of this stuff. Uh, there's a guy named Sixto Paz in Mexico and uh, he's studying this kind of thing. He's taking people called experiencers that have these anomalous experiences with non-human intelligence and um, he's looking at their brains. now. Let me see here. There's also a man, I believe it is Stanford University. Let me, let me make sure. I don't want to mess up here. It is Gary Nolan from Stanford University. And he's taken a lot of people uh, that claim to have these experiences. And he's doing MRIs. And what he's finding in a part of the brain uh, called the uh, basal ganglia, um, I'm no neurologist, so I'm trying to keep up with this, uh, and the uh, cauda putamen area, the right hemisphere of the brain, and of course, he, he did a like a control group where people that didn't have these experiences would show up and help out with the project. And what he's finding is a, a malignance of um, tissue, brain tissue, that is kind of branching out to the cauda putamen area, which I can find really fascinating. I'm sure you do as well. Now, in these MRIs, he's picking up people that are um, literally making sounds, you know, maybe 30 hertz below their, you know, the hearing range that you may pick up at the, uh, you know, it's definitely picking up with the MRI, sometimes 50 hertz, sometimes even 100 hertz. Now, my investigator, he was really, really curious about this, and I was really shy about it. I know what it sounds like. I don't want to talk to anyone that uh, says they can do this with their brain. You know, that just sounds like absolutely nuts. But come to find out there's, there's a few people like me and I'm not alone when it comes to this. My investigator, he went ahead and sent me to uh, Nashville recording studio. Yes, that's right. It was a very awkward moment. Uh, we put a micro microphone in my forehead and uh, I was able to, and yes, this is in the case, put out uh, 1,540 Hertz. This is audible. I can control it better than my voice. And uh, it really needs to be studied. So I got a hold of this guy uh, by email and, and asked if you know we can participate in this kind of study. And uh, he's obliged. You know, he's a very busy man, but as soon as he has time, we are going to um, scientifically, you know, put this on the radar. You know, I think it will be a higher hertz range than everybody else, and it'll help prove what's going on with people. So scientifically. You guys are awesome. Thank you for reaching out. Um, there's also the spiritual community. And I think uh, uh, from what I just told you, it's going to speak volumes for itself later on down the road. When science comes together with this supposed um, science fiction, uh, we're going to we're going to get a lot done. Now, uh, just a little hint for you guys in the, the science field right here where I was knocked down, I experienced immediately eye loss which is why I have these beautiful things on my face. I had a scientist tell me that um, this can happen if you're in front of a high amount of uh, magnetic fields. So um, I know a lot more than what I'm gonna say right now, but um, it's definitely going to be interesting as far as the science, how these things work and all that stuff. But I just wanted to pop in today. It's uh, July 28th over here where I'm at. It's six years of um, it's, it's a, as my investigator would say, my anniversary of how all this began. Ironically enough, on the second video, I do this. Um, but I just wanted to pop in, guys, let you know that 
you can Google this stuff. You can look up these people I talk about and uh, the science that they're doing on the basal ganglia um, area of the brain where people with these types of experiences literally have something going on in their brain. That doesn't mean they're nuts. It means they have access to an area of the brain that is spread out in such a way where it looks as if uh, we have this antenna, something, you know, and, and when you think antenna, you think reach out or receive. And it's, it's really funny to me that uh, it's the right hand side of the brain. Uh, if you think long and hard enough about that, I think you might uh, grin a little bit if you're on the side of trying to prove what's going on to so many people around the world. And uh, <clears throat> I got to say, being myself, living my life, I get calls all the time. And you would not believe uh, the volume of people that just want to get it off their chest in such a way where they don't sound crazy. You know, they don't feel crazy. They, you know, people don't want to feel crazy just because they ran across something that is a, a taboo subject. And uh, it's been thousands over the, the past six years, you know, not five, not 10, thousands from 125 different countries around the world. So once you really, really get out there and free yourself, you're a different person the next day because you have a better relationship with your, your spouse, you have a better relationship with your children, your job, just because you hold it inside. So I would encourage anybody that is, is fighting this internal battle, you're not alone by far. There are people like us everywhere, and it's great to see that television and science and all this is coming around to understanding that uh, there's a reality to this. And um, God knows I don't live a normal life at all. I help people as much as possible. I enjoy doing it. Uh, there's a lot of ups and downs, but we're coming along. So I do encourage any experiencer out there to reach out. If you've never spoken about it before, I'm all ears, you know, and I'd love to help you out. Um, sometimes it's little things. Sometimes it's very complicated. Uh, I do stick to the three big words though. I don't know. If I don't know something, I'm going to let you know that I don't know that. But I think a lot of people deserve at least, to uh, have that conversation without being worried about being crazy. Uh, crazy is not uh, a word that you use in psychology. It's a policing word uh, to, to self-police. That's what we do in our society. We self-police people about right and wrong, crazy and not crazy. So that being said, guys, I got to take off. I've got a really busy day and uh, hope to catch up with you very soon.